today we will be practicing ordering a set of fractions from least to greatest using a number line and using half as a benchmark. So we have the following fractions, 3 sixths, 1 fourth, 3 fourths, 3 eighths, 1 and 2 thirds, 5 sixths, and 5 ninths. And on our number line we have 0, 1 half, and 1. And the reason I wrote less, equal, and more is because the first thing we want to do is sort our fractions using one half. They can be less than one half, equal to one half, or more or greater than one half. So let's look at our fraction three six. Three plus three is six, so that means three is half of six. So that fraction is actually equivalent to one half. And I'm just gonna write it here under our one half because that is the same thing as one half. And we are done with three six. The next fraction we have is 1 fourth. Well, I know that 2 plus 2 is 4, so that means half of 4 is 2. So if half of 4 is 2, that means 1 fourth is smaller than half because 1 is smaller than 2. So I'm not going to place it on my number line yet, but I am going to write it below the less than half side down at the bottom here, 1 fourth. And I'm going to cross it off because I'm done with that one. Okay, so we just talked about how half of 4 is 2. So if half of 4 is 2, 3 fourths is bigger because 3 is bigger than 2. So that is more than half, and I'm going to write it down below the number line on the more than half side. Our next fraction is 3 eighths. And using my doubles facts, I know that half of 8 is 4. So that means 3 eighths is less than half because four is bigger than three. Three is less than four. I'm gonna write it on my less than half side down below the number line for now. Um, my next fraction here is actually a mixed number because it has a whole number, one, and a fraction, two thirds. I don't have any other mixed numbers here so I'm just gonna go ahead and place that on my number line because I know that that's the biggest. It's the biggest because it's actually greater than one. So I'm gonna put it after the one and write one and two thirds. My next fraction is five sixths. And I know using my doubles facts that half of six is three because three plus three is six. So that means five six is bigger than half because three six is smaller than five six. So that will go on our more than half side down at the bottom. And our last fraction here is 5 ninths. Now this one's a little bit trickier because 9 is an odd number. And finding half of an odd number can be a little bit more tricky than finding half of an even number. So if you don't know this in your head, what we do in class is we list the number 9, because that's our denominator. And then we have students list the number before, which is 8, and the number after it, because those are even numbers. Half of 8 is 4 and half of 10 is 5. So in between 4 and 5 is 4 and a half, which we write like this, 4.5. So half of 9 is 4.5 over 9. And this one here is just a little bit bigger than half because 5 is bigger than 4 and a half. So this fraction is more than half. So I'm gonna write it down below my number line on this side. Now, we have finished our first step, and we are going to now look down at the bottom where we wrote our fractions. So now we're gonna look at the two fractions that we have that we decided were less than one half. There are a couple ways you could look at this. You could use half as a benchmark, and you could also cross multiply to check to see which fraction is smaller and which one's bigger. So to cross multiply, we make kind of like a butterfly and we're going to multiply across. 8 times 1 is 8. 4 times 3 is 12. 12 is bigger than 8, so 3 eighths is my bigger fraction. So I'm going to go back up to my number line. I had 1 fourth and 3 eighths, so 1 fourth we figured out was the smallest, and 3 eighths would be next. So now I'm going to go over to my more than half 
side. Now, for this, we actually have three fractions, which you can't just cross multiply three fractions. You have to narrow it down to two by using some other fraction reasoning skills. Well, first I know that five six is bigger than five ninths. Even though nine is a bigger number, sixths are actually bigger. And we say things like, okay, well, would you rather share a cookie with nine friends or with six friends? And the answer would be six because you would each get a bigger piece. So I know that five ninths is gonna be smaller than five sixths. I also know that it's gonna be smaller than three fourths because three fourths is only one away from being a whole number because four fourths would be a whole and that is super close to a whole and five ninths is not. However, five sixths is also one away from a whole because six six would be a whole. But now that we know five ninths is the smallest fraction, let's put it on our number line after the one half. And we can also look back at where we found half, which is four and a half over nine, and five over nine is just a little bit past the one half, so that makes sense too. All right, so far we have one four, three eighths, three six, five ninths, and we have all the way over here one and two thirds. But we do have two fractions left. We have three fourths down here, and we also have five six. Now, three fourths is one away from a whole because four fourths is a whole. Five six is one away from a whole because six six would be a whole. I don't have any common numerators or common denominators to look at. So, if you cannot see this visually in your head, which can be pretty tricky to do, you can use your cross multiplication to check to see which one is bigger. Six times three is 18. Four times five is 20. See, these are very close because they're both one away from a whole. The numbers that we multiplied ended up having a product that were very close to each other. But I do see that three fourths is a little bit smaller than five sixths. So after my five ninths will come three fourths, and after that will come five sixths. So here we have one fourth, three eighths, three sixths, five ninths, three fourths, and five sixths. And of course our mixed number at the end, one and two thirds. 